guys, it's Green Ninja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one of season two of Jobless Reincarnation. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Just let me see my son. That's all. I just want to see Rudy. That's it. Right? <laughs> yeah. You still mad about... Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, because you are alone. Uh, yeah, go into a hella dangerous place. Well, you don't have to if you don't want to, but you don't want to seem rude. Aww. But yeah, because you know, that's because not only that, but then several other things. Because baby finally had sex and then, you know, <laughs> gets left. No. Oh, yeah. Baby. 
Not the hair. Oh my god. Fruity. So just keep it. He, he's fine. Just give him the job. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> oh, Sarah, don't be a bitch! <laughs> yeah! You, you, right now, I get it. You, you want to be alone. I know that feeling. But you need to surround yourself with people. Until you see Sylvie and everyone else again. Yeah, she does. I felt like they all going to die today except for Rudy.
Okay, Timothy, I feel like you're going to possibly die today, if not today in the next coming weeks. You will all die. I also feel like Sarah has a crush on Susan at Sue. Well, we'll call her Sue for short. But maybe she doesn't want to act on her feelings just yet. That makes sense. I know, I know. I miss her too. Hopefully we get an episode or something focused on her. Oh my God, Sarah. Right? I mean, I get it. You got an attitude problem. 100%. But, oh, girl, somebody not going to like that. Oh. Baby. <laughs> Just alert. Oh, <laughs> poor things. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. Excuse me. Oh. 
in a horde of them. Oh my god. Let's pray to God that did not get her in the head, cause whoop. God damn, there's more. Damn. Ooh, god damn, they charge hard. <laughs> oh. Well, no one died for now. And let's hope nothing happens to y'all. Let's run. Oh, you gonna apologize? <laughs>
<laughs> and y'all get happy about that shit. <laughs> But of course, somebody was talking about them being hot shit a couple of seconds ago. Oh, there we go. You have me, baby. No. So I'll keep that, or are you gonna burn it? There you go. There you go. Get over that first love, baby. God, that fucking hurt. Oh my god. Like, Seriously, I was expecting, like, just the first two episodes of him to be very depressed. But going at the end of season one, like, Baby was hella depressed. And I was just like, oh, we're about to have, like, what, three or four episodes into the second season where he's literally gonna mope around and just do nothing because that's what he did in the last moments of the first season. So you truly just feel bad for him once again, but, you know... Finally, you know, going and getting through that depression and finally finding the one thing, you know, that you love doing before, yes, you met, you know, the one of many loves of your lives and such and trying to get out of that moping stage and the sadness and everything of depression because, you know, I mean, once again, depression is like the the fucking hardest battle out of a lot of things there are a lot of hard things especially but depression that that's just a whole different ball game because truly you just never know how your day is going to go because one minute you have a you're on your high and the next minute you can be on your lowest low so you just never know how how that's going to go and for Rudy to now be in another group, like, I, I'm hoping that, yes, they bring out a lot out of him. Like, yeah, they got him to smile, finally, because I really was truly thinking, like, damn, we are not going to see this kid smile for, like, a hot-ass minute. But at the end of episode one, yes, I'm happy! But at the same time, it's like, 
you're, as I said, you know, maybe this group could die, one. Two, this group could leave him just as much as Ennis did and such. But I think if it does happen that way again, I don't think he will be as depressed as he was the first time. I think he'll look at this as a learning experience, especially with the fact that, you know, coping with that for the first time. Yeah, that really, truly hurts. Losing someone who you really, you know, gave everything to truly everything and then the next day she's just gone and you feel like you can't live without that person and such but then you know what you're doing you know the reason of your living and why you're doing what you're doing is not really for her but mainly for yourself and such and then him getting that boost of energy back like was just the highlight of this episode and such truly but like god damn I was not expecting it to go like this but I'm happy I'm just I'm really happy for him but it's gonna take him time I, I love also yes we're using the panties as the other coping like yes for me to for him to feel sane once again yes we gotta get the panties out we're like okay <laughs> my poor baby <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He's happy again. That's all that matters to me. He's okay. And slowly but surely, he's going to find Sel. He's going to find Sophie. It's just going to take a, like... Hopefully it doesn't take half of the fucking season, but it might. Maybe. But other than that, guys, that is where I actually be towards episode one of season two of Jobless Reincarnation. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. It's my match just one. And of course, I will see you guys officially all on Sunday after work for episode two. Bye, guys.